am just in Kirton, heading down to the beautiful Kirton Bay. It's currently six o'clock in the morning and I've decided to come out this morning. We're gonna head down and have some breakfast on the beach. The UK is currently experiencing a heat wave. We are having really extreme temperatures, um, especially for our part of the world. Um, today's Sunday, they're saying that by Tuesday, the country could be experiencing temperatures of 40 degrees, which is just insane. I used to live in Cyprus and they're the type of temperatures we were getting over there. So it's gonna be a scorcher of a week. Um, yeah, it's 6 a.m. now and it's already 15 degrees, which is nice and warm for this time of morning. And by this afternoon, we're expecting temperatures in my area of 31 degrees. And uh, when it gets that hot, it's just um, a place like the beach get really busy. So what we thought we'd do is we thought we'd head here before the rush, get some breakfast and uh, yeah, just spend this beautiful morning on one of my favourite beaches. And I thought I'd bring you guys along as well. So stay tuned guys and I'll bring you back in a little bit. absolutely love coming to the beach really early on the morning especially in summer when the weather's nice and it's really warm um, I am a Scarborough girl as I've mentioned before so this is my hometown and I just love traveling back here um, I live about 45 minutes away from here now but traveling back and uh, as soon as I get near the sea I just feel like back at home there's just something so peaceful about spending the morning like sitting on the beach listening to the waves like cooking up some breakfast so yeah it's really nice to be back and it's nice and quiet the tide's in as well, um, it is high tide right now, but it never fully comes in, so there's always a little bit of sand to sit on and to relax. Um, but I imagine in a few hours when the tide goes out and those temperatures start to rise, it's gonna be really busy down here today. Not as busy as other parts of Scarborough, like Scarborough Beach gets really busy, but yeah, Caton Bay um, in nice weather, it does get like quite a popular destination. So yeah, it's nice to be down here and have it all to ourselves. It's so beautiful down here this morning. Um, I hope you can hear me because the sea is really noisy. But um, yeah, it's just sitting here. I'm gonna get a coffee and uh, sit and relax. I brought some food to cook up for breakfast and uh, yeah, what a beautiful summer's morning. Absolutely stunning. If I just spin you around here, you can just make out these holes in uh, the cliff face behind me. We've just been watching the little birds that are nesting here, flying around and coming and going from their little uh, nest in there. In all the years I've been coming to Curtin Bay, I've never noticed that. Like I know we have like a big bird population around here, but never noticed the little birds that nest in there. Um, yeah, so that was nice to see. Just a few miles in that direction, if you kept following the coastline that way, you end up at Bempton Cliffs. For anyone who's into like birds and nature and stuff, you will probably have heard of Bempton Cliffs. It has a really healthy population of um, puffins. The puffins are absolutely gorgeous to go and see. So they're there this time of year. In fact, I might take a trip up there in a couple of weeks because I really love going and uh, spending the day there. It's a beautiful place to go. I've just felt some rain. I don't believe it. I've just been saying we're in a heat wave. I've checked the weather forecast this morning. It said this afternoon's gonna be 30 degrees. But I did notice over there, you can see the sky's getting a little bit black and I was thinking, it looks like it could rain, but surely not. It's not forecast. It's forecast as a red weather warning to be an absolutely scorching day. But in true British style, we have rain, which is actually quite nice because it's been really hot and muggy. So yeah, maybe it'll clear the air a little bit before the heat wave strikes again this afternoon. say this morning is I'm gonna make a coffee to warm myself up because <laughs> I'm absolutely freezing it's so cold what has happened I don't understand but um, yeah I'm gonna make a coffee and uh, get warmed up I don't think the fact that I fell in the sea has helped because my clothes are all wet my shoes are wet and obviously I just thought I'd dry out <laughs> mother nature had other ideas and decided to send um, a storm our way so yeah <laughs> gonna make a coffee and uh yeah get nice and warm watch out for the jellyfish <laughs> 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 
she lying? What's this? I'm from Scarborough. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the camera on. You're a sea boy. That's not fair. <laughs> but true. Carrie's looking at the child out of ET. I'm going to say ET for not. <laughs> You've got to do the little finger thing. <laughs> it's cold. Because I've been in the water, that's why you haven't. So I'm oh, going right. to You sat with your it's not, it's not fair, like, you're um, climatised for these environments. Just <laughs> because I'm from the seaside. Yeah, you're practically a mermaid. <laughs> right guys, well, as you can see, the heavens have opened, it's absolutely torrential rain, in typical British heatwave fashion. <laughs> Um, but we've had such a good morning this morning despite the rain, despite the weather I think once this storm passes over and uh, the weather does start getting nicer as the afternoon goes on this beach will be really busy so it's nice to catch it while it was quiet even if the weather wasn't quite on our side but you know you can't plan these things we've had a great time anyway but um, we're going to start making our way back to the car now it's nine o'clock in the morning and I feel like we've had a great morning so far, it's been good. But yeah, we're going to head back to the car guys. And uh, I think next time I'm out, I'm going to try and head down here and do a camp, as I said before. It would be a great place to come and do an overnight. So yeah, I think in a couple of weeks I'll be down here doing that. And obviously I'll bring you guys along for that. So until next time guys, wherever you are, if you're in the UK, I hope you're enjoying the heat wave. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's been a bit better than what we're having today. But um, yeah. Hopefully you're enjoying the heat wave if it's not raining and um, take care of yourself guys until next time and I'll see you on my next video. We're well, like the waves on a big blue storm you see But still you're the one who brings out the best